bad as well. Oops, just club the uh, light. And uh, we're going to get on with finishing um, Conan. Now, this is going to be a video of two parts because um, I've not managed to give him a wash yet. So he's going to get a wash now. And when we come back, we'll get on with the highlighting. Okay? So, <clears throat> first stage of the wash is the flesh. And for this, we're going to be using... Where are we? <laughs> Reichland Flesh Shade. Okay, so we'll start off with this. And this is going to be going all over, as you can imagine, the flesh areas. Like so. Um, obviously going to pull in the crevices and the muscle areas. <clears throat> As you would expect. Try not to go too heavy with this. Um, yes, we want it to pull in to places, but we don't want it to completely obscure all um, the uh, the detail that's in the flesh because it is nicely detailed there we go In fact, I'm going to go over this as well, with this colour. Just to give the wrap thing a little bit of warmth. This is going to serve really two purposes. It's going to um, provide the shadow details for this flesh. It's also going to make the flesh just that tad more, shall we say, tanned, more bronzed colour, which is for a barbarian who spends a lot of time outside in the heat and the sun. It gives just the kind of skin tone that we're looking for. I'm not as, as usual I'm not going to bother with the eyes um, because I'm not very good at doing eyes and for a game piece that tends to be viewed um, from quite a distance then it's not really uh, going to be noticeable they're just going to be in shadow from, a, from the eyebrows. That's how I see it. And that's how it's going to be because they are my models. And nobody's going to tell me I'm wrong by doing that. You can tell me I'm wrong, I'm not going to listen. Pure and simple. So we'll just dry our little brush after washing it out. And we'll get out the next colour that we're going to be using, which is our old friend Agrax Earthshade. So, this is going everywhere else. It's going to be going on the... loin clothy kind of thing he has. And if this goes on the skin tone... Towards the edges, that's fine. If it goes into the skin at the lower areas, again, that's fine. That casts another depth to the shadow. 
but you don't want it overpowering any of the wash that we've already put on. So it's going on the loincloth over the sword and on his footwear. And that is it for this part of the video. When we come back, this one have dried and we can get on with highlighting. So join us then and Conan will be finished. All ready for playing. Hoping to get my first game in tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. But just for now, I'm going to have to say ta-ta. Uh, I'll be back in a second in uh, video time and uh, we can finish off. Okay, see you then. Right, we're back. It's all washed. It's all dried. As you can see. So let's get on with painting, shall we? Pop that on there. I've got something to hold while I'm painting away. So, first things first, a quick drink of pop. And let's get on with it, shall we? What do I need to do first? Well, more than anything else, I need to get myself organised. But bearing miracles, oh, bearing miracles, I'll just carry on regardless. So let's clear, clean our brush out that we need to clean and then we'll get the paint on our palette and get cracking. So, flesh first and we're doing the uh, highlights for the flesh and what we did, oops, what we used for the flesh was a mix of rat skin flesh and not Orikama Gold, but Kisler Flesh. They were the two we used originally, if I remember rightly. So we'll pop these on the palette once more. Ta -ta. And I'll just mix them together. Probably need a little bit more of this. That looks about right. I'm hoping. <laughs> it's a while since I did the the, ba uh, the base coat, so I'm hoping I've got it right. Uh, well, we'll soon find out. So, got some water on my brush and get some of the highlight colour on, and let's just go over what we can, and uh, hopefully. We'll get quite a good finish off this. Fingers crossed. Um, as I said in a couple of um, what do we call it? In a couple of uh, comments, I replied to a couple of comments on the first video of this uh, painting bit. Um, I've been having trouble with my inner ear issue again. Um, I keep going dizzy. Um, 
Now it has affected me quite a bit because it's not just going dizzy. Um, it's an inability to focus as well as um, nausea that comes with it as well and unfortunately it stops me from being able to focus fully on painting so I have unfortunately had to put the hobby on the back burner it's also preventing me from being able to go anywhere um, for a few days because it's affected my ability to drive obviously the one thing I do not want to do is start driving when I'm feeling dizzy um, I'm not an idiot if I don't feel safe enough to drive I don't get behind the wheel of the car um, but when I do feel safe enough I do go out um, but the problem is I have a constant what feels like an industrial fan in my ear and um, you know, all I can hear at the moment is whoom, 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 whoom. Yeah, I know it's the pulse um, but it's very very annoying um, but I have been told that um, because my hearing is impaired in my right ear that what could happen is that because the nerves aren't working properly or whatever it may be and um, they're not hearing fully or not able to hear fully and pick up sound properly then they make their own sound which is why I'm getting the whirring sound from my pulse so as irritating as it is I'm going to have to wait until I can see um, go to ANT and get my ear checked over for um, a build up of wax that I had that's not an issue that's not the issue that I've got but it is something that needs to be cleared before I can get a hearing test to find out or another hearing test rather to find out whether or not I do need hearing aid um, and hopefully if I do need a hearing aid it will help to get rid of this whirring sound because as you can understand as you hopefully can understand it gets very very tiresome very very quickly but that's enough of my problems um, but uh, I'm just trying to explain the reason why I'm a little bit quiet at the moment on here um, it's just it just seems to be one thing after another with health at the moment with me but hopefully as it's getting to Christmas now um, I can uh, look forward to something else and uh, getting more and more videos done which is what I want to do I miss doing the videos and I want to get back to doing them but I can only do that when I feel up to it so at the moment I hope you'll forgive my absence it's not something I'm doing by choice, it's by, I'm doing this by necessity um, I'm going to have to go back into his eye socket there to add a little bit of shadow because I've just gone in with the the brush oh well um, these model, or this model is absolutely awesome to paint I'm hoping the rest of them are the same there's lots and lots of little lumpy bits that I can paint um, that 
is obviously muscle and sinew. We'll be going a little bit lighter with this for another highlight for, for the next highlight. Um, but I may have to go over in a couple of places with the uh, call it. Raglan flesh shade again because it doesn't seem to have taken in some places. But never mind. Let's get these hand on. There's a couple of areas that look a little bit iffy. And so it's not actually um, moulded fully, but that's possibly the moulding process. It's probably fine as a the original cast, but unfortunately. And we know sometimes when you convert them down when you mould them down rather to the size that they're going to be they can lose some of that all important detail but he's looking a bit nice already okay so I'm going to stop with that for the time being and we're going to go into the scrag brown which I used for the boots and this I think is going to be a dry brush oh, I just have to find the dry brush brush dee -dee 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 -dee. Where, oh, where is my dry brush 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 Did it. And before I can actually use it as a dark dry brush 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 brush, I have to wet it to get all the master's soap and bristle protector off. And I just have to make sure that the brush is incredibly dry before I use it, which really isn't so difficult, it's just a case of rubbing it on a paper towel and it's done okay so we get as little paint on the brush as we possibly can as you can see I'm putting it on wiping it off and now We just go over the areas on the boots that we use this for, just over the high points. Oops, and dropping the model as we go. And we are going to be using a slightly paler colour for this very soon. We can't use it yet because obviously that needs to be dry but what we are going to use first of all and I'm only doing that because it was a little bit patchy in some areas um, I just wanted to make sure that it was all salted and good to go a little drink of pop and we're on our way. So going back to the rat skin flesh, which is this colour, we're going to be using this as the highlight colour for the loincloth, or part of the highlight colour for the loincloth.
add a few strokes of that it's going to stand out from the skin Oops. I got a beep from my uh, computer there so that's that bit done. The next thing I'm going to do, another slight dry brush, is using Where Have You Gone? Racker Flesh. Again, another dry brush with this one. There we are. And that's going to be on This area where he's on the wrap on his hand or wrist rather. Now strangely enough this work of flesh is quite watery and not as and for a what we call it's a, a base colour. Not as thick as I would have thought it would be. And I'm just going over that little amulet there. Not that amulet, the uh, object there. And I'll go over these teeth and the necklace with it as well to make those stand out. That's that done. And now what I'll do is I'll go back into the highlight colour for the flesh. And touch up in here where I've gone over with the Wrecker flesh. I will go back in with um, the Wash Mahoojit. Um The wash in a moment. But first I want some Abaddon Black on the go, which I'm going to put on our palette, and that's the one I've just put down. I'm just going to go over the hair once more. at the moment it's looking grey rather than black and that's probably to do with the fact that I put it on as a wash rather than an actual colour but we're doing it again I'm putting it on hopefully it's going on as a, a wash There we go. And once that is dried, we can go back over with a highlight colour for the but next job we want to do is just touch up the areas that need to be done with the wash. Um, I'll try and do this before I do other areas, then it's giving those areas a chance to dry, the washed areas a chance to dry. So we're doing the Rackerth, not Rackerth flesh, the Reichland flesh shade. And this bit is going here.
And a little bit in the eye socket there. And just on the thigh where it doesn't seem to have taken too well and there's not that very clear delineation between the raised area and the wash. Okay so that's that done hopefully we can now go on to other areas and leave that to dry properly and then come back. So as I was saying some of these areas are going to be highlighted slightly paler and the first one is going to be done well, the first loss is going to be done using Kisler Flesh so we need our dry brush Kisler Flesh on the dry brush wipe it off and a couple of little areas that need doing that done and I had an idea um, for the boots and the idea for the boots I was going to use Screaming Skull but I've changed my mind I'm going to use the Racket of Flesh for those So we'll put that on the brush, wipe a little bit off and just go with the flow with it. There we are. And now we'll have to be careful here because part of this area is where we just washed if you remember and I'm also going to add a little bit of a highlight to here with that as well And Conan is all but complete. All that needs now is just brightening up the the main flesh tones. And for that it's just adding a little more of the rat uh, kizzler flesh into the mix that we have built already done. This, what we'll do now is just go over and add the final ultimate highlights to the um, to the flesh tones. And hopefully it will look just about right. We're not covering up the previous flesh or previous highlights. We're just adding a little bit over it just to make the 
flesh tone leap out. I'm not going too bright with it. Oh god. Get my eyes off the camera then. Um. <laughs> Just trying to avoid you do it out certain parts because I want to give it a chance to dry or the wash to dry fully. Looks as though it's not too bad. There we go. is the final bit of highlighting for the skin we're going to be doing. The next part of the highlighting is going to be for the hair. It's not going to be a great deal of highlighting. It's just going to be a few strokes here and there with the brush. And then we can get on with um, the base which I have an idea for. Now the highlighting for the hair is going to be done using um, Eshin Grey. It's not an incredibly pale colour I know but he's got black hair and that's how I want him to have, that's what I want him to have. So I'm put it on, wipe it off and just over the top area Over his head, and just have a very, very in fact, I'm going the way down with this, and I'll mix it with a little bit. No, in fact, I won't, I'll just leave it at that. That is fine. And the is Conan. All done. Except for his sword. I knew there was something I was missing. I couldn't think what it was, but I knew there was something. Let's get his sword done. <laughs> now as you may be aware, the plate of his sword is going to be steel. So what I'm going to use for that is a little bit of the uh, iron breaker. water on the brush a spot on the palette and I'm just going to run the blade, or the run the bristles of the brush down the blade. Just like so. And 
£20 for the hilt of the thing sword. We're going to go with Aurichama Gold, which is that colour. We're going to mix it in with a little bit of the um, Balthazar Gold. And I mean a little bit, I don't want to make it too dark. But I don't want it, it's incredibly bright. And I'm just going to pick out Parts of the hilt and the uh, is cotton. Next job, we are going to apply the base covering on the base. So Excuse me while I have another drink. Um, I think what I might use for that is when I can see it. Hmm. I know, I know, I should have thought about this before. Right? It's not that one. <clears throat> this is the stuff we're going to be using, a ghrelin earth. But what we need to do first off is paint the base. And for that we're going to be using Rhinox Hide. I don't know why I've bothered showing you that because you can't see it. <laughs> oh well. Now we're just going to apply the paint all over the base. Don't be too fussy with it. We just want to take off the actual colour of the base. Some people actually cut the um, cut the miniature from this base and put them on clear bases. Although it looks nice and you can see the um, the board underneath. I'm a bit reluctant to do that as uh, From what I can understand, uh, having to apply it onto the pers clear perspex base, you need to super glue it, and it's not going to be as strong a fit. So, that's why I'm going to keep mine on these bases and just use. Um, <clears throat> some of the paste to cover the base over and put a nice little covering onto the base around his feet. And I'm going to do this for each and every one of them. Um, So I'm not really going to be worry too much about the coverage of this. It's going to be covered by the thick paste. But we can't do anything more until that dries. 
<coughs> so uh, my advice is come back when it's done in fact what I'll do no I won't do them all yet I will paint the minis and when it comes around to the end doing the bases um, I'll paint, paint all the minis up to this stage and then I will do video showing what I use the um, ground earth for how it's used and uh, the different stages of, um, of applying that so you can see what the finished effect is going to look like but so far that is Conan I hope you've enjoyed these videos until next time as always take care, god bless and bye for now <laughs>